cool. Right, okay, so we're going to the yellow planet now and we'll rescue Willy DeWitt. Now this is the hardest of them all, and you will see why. There's lots of uh, there's lots of little friggin' gimmicks on here which will just drive you insane. So if I do tend to hurry up, that's why. Because I hate <laughs> I love this planet, don't get me wrong, but it's got some beautiful graphics, but it's extremely deadly, so you kind of need to get a wiggle on in some sections. There's more life there. And here we are. Mm, okay. There we go. Alright, get that thing. Jump. Oh god. Christ almighty, um... Right, we'll get the life. There we go, boom. Right, come on. Can I get up there? Yes. Who needs the power the most? Um, I'll give it to Deadeye, actually. There we are. basically. Oh god, I need to get to that. Oh yeah, more life. That's what you want. Right, okay. This bit's very difficult, by the way. I hate this bit so much. Um, you have to climb up, climb up the ships um, and sort of get through, and it's not easy. It's probably it's the hardest thing about this level, I think. And then even after that, we have to kind of climb on these asteroids as well. So it's, there's a lot going on here. I'm going to stay at the top of the screen. I think I'll be all right. There we are. And here we go. This is the hardest part coming up with these toad ships anyway. I think anyway. Because if you get discombobulated, you fall all the way to the bottom. So it's all about timing, I think, and just repetition. And you will get used to it. And it's not totally hard, don't get me wrong, but it will give you some problems. You need to jump quickly. That's the only problem with this. If you're, if you're not expecting it, you can just, again, be thrown right to the bottom of the screen. That's kind of not where you need to be. And there we are. Let's try and do this if we can. Yeah, I know there's more life up there, but I don't think I think I've I've got the sort of the full sort of life thing going on. Yeah, this bit basically. I hate this part. It's just getting through this this last asteroid section. Basically, everything else I don't mind doing, if, but I just want to get past this because I find this really difficult things that you have to do on this game is ridiculous. Yeah, he just falls straight to the bottom. <sighs> okay, I just gotta keep trying, basically. That's the only way to do it. I keep forgetting that I keep falling off the um you can fall off the asteroid really easily on here. So in some cases you can literally jump from asteroid to asteroid. Oh god! I thought I died then as well. Before I died, I was like, I'm going to die, and then the asteroid saved me. I was like, okay. Crazy. Come on, Bucky. We can do this. We can do this. It's not that difficult. We can do this. <sighs> okay. I'm staying very calm. I'm not, I'm not trying to get too panicky. Absolutely. This is bloody awful. Yeah, so if you played this game, guys, you are going to die a lot. There's just no getting away from it. It's it's very difficult. Like, even early on, I can barely get anywhere. So I'm quite lucky to have got as far as I've got in the time that I've got, because normally it takes me a lot longer. But I said, because I practiced the first four levels, I thought, you know what, I, I want to at least look like I know what I'm doing here. 
Right, I want to get that bottom asteroid that keeps going up. Keep that one there. That's the one I want. Okay. Jump to that one. Okay. I want to get to that one. That's the one I want. Oh, come on! Holy crap! Oh my god, that's awful! Absolutely bloody awful, that is. Alright, let's get this thing anyway. Oh, I tried to get it anyway. I might be able to jump from asteroid to asteroid, the, the small ones. I don't know, but. I, I'm not. I'm quite, I kind of don't want to tempt fate. I'll just keep falling down. It's it's a little bit too difficult for me to deal with. <sighs> okay. Chain. There we are. Well, at least I got the uh, the life anyway, so that's not too bad. All right. Jump from platform to platform. There we go. All right. Okay. That's the one I want. There you go. Yeah, we want this one. I'm not gonna go go sort of double, and try and get two asteroids. Get to two, so I'm just gonna do it bit by bit. There's no point rushing it. Right, I need one that's gonna go that way. That one, thank you. There we are. And I made it. There you go, guys. Right now, this bit's the minecart. You have to jump from minecart to minecart, basically. As soon as one stops, you have to jump on another bit. And this bit can be very frustrating if you've just done that um, asteroid section and struggled with it, and then you're thinking, God, Konami are really putting you through this. But you know what? I don't mind because if I get game over, I can just carry on from here anyway, so it's not too bad. I'm actually dying less as well. So I've probably died, even though I've died a few times, I haven't died that much, which is great. I probably will do later on, though, because this game plays very, very difficult on the later stages, once I've rescued all the crew members. You have to kind of re-rescue them, which is really bizarre, and then you have to fight them before you can actually add them back to your uh, team. It's a really good idea, I think. God, my eyes are getting so tired with these minecarts. This is it, you've got to jump from minecart to minecart. And a duck here. Now, let's see if I can do this first time. There we go. Oh! Oh my god! I thought, oh, I was like, oh, it's the last one. It's the last one, but it isn't the last one. I was like, oh my god. Almost made it, guys. That was awesome. I was like, Jesus Christ, I'm gonna make it. I didn't make it. There's just too many of them to deal with, I think. I mistimed them, basically. That's what happened. Right, we'll just keep doing it there. It's no biggie. No big deal. Keep doing it. I just want to get to the boss because the boss on this stage is really cool. It's pretty. It's like my favourite boss in the whole game. I think he's like another toad sort of robot thing, you majiggy. Oh my god. When will this ever end? I swear to god, it's like it moves really fast as well for the NES standards. So you've really got to sort of keep up with what's going on on the screen. Right, okay, jump. There we go. Jump. Right, here we go. Let's try this again. I screwed up because I mistimed it, so hopefully I can do it this time. No. Game was like, no, you didn't duck. You're going to die. Fair enough. Oh my god. I'm so close as well. I'm so close to getting these first four planets done, or this planet. Once I do this, I'll be on to the next section of the game. Alright, 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 alright. Come on, baby. Set. 
So yeah, you need to do everything like pinpoint accuracy. Yeah, if you mess up, the game is very unforgiving. Barely get enough time to do anything, so. I'm glad that this is kind of what you have to do. There's nothing else involved, no switches to pull or anything like that, because that would just drive me insane. I had to do that. Right. Oh, am I here? Am I there yet? Yeah, I'm on this bit. Right, okay, here we go. So as soon as I get to that next thing, I need to duck, basically. Duck. Duck. Get the next one. Yeah, I've done it, I've done it. Brilliant. Here you go guys, it's boss time. So this is why I wanted to get to this boss. It's my favourite boss in the whole game. I really enjoy this boss fight basically. So I'm, I'm going to smash, take out his bottom cannon of laser. His bottom laser blaster first. Because that I find the most deadly. And I think Bucky's is the powerfulest. I think Willy ultimately has the powerfulest weapon but... Bucky's can do multiple shots. Right, he's going to charge at me now, so... Check out what, what he does now. Alright, he's not charging at me. Oh, there we are. I've destroyed his laser. See, this is what he does. He's going to open his mouth in a minute as well. And he's going to charge at me and go back and forth. That's his pattern. So it's a fairly easy pattern. It's not too difficult. You ultimately have to hit his eye, that's what you need to do, but you can't hit his eye until you've destroyed the cannons, the laser cannons, hence the reason why I went for them straight away, shit. So, I should be able to do it this time anyway. Keep this going. Yeah, I've got him, I've got him now. Hit his eye. Back and forth. Boom. Now, I would use Dead Eye's spread gun, but it's not very... Uh, I need to get really close up to do it. I probably... I'll probably die, because if you touch the boss, you take damage. So I'm going to do this very carefully. I'm not going to mess up. Here we go, guys. There you go. Boom. He's destroyed, and I've rescued Willy. Fantastic. Not too shabby. I'm quite pleased with uh, that first, the way I've handled the first part of the game. Quite efficient. I did die a few times, but not as much as I thought. Thanks, Bucky. While I was held captive, I kept busy putting together a new weapon. It's my one shot, does it all blaster. You can call it Thummer. Okay. If you press the fire button longer, it just gets stronger. Great. And here we go, we get another cutscene now. Oh, fantastic. So Bucky brought his brave crew together again. Right, okay. Oh my god. Oh no, it's a trick which the toad set to catch your Bucky O'Hare. So basically the whole thing was a whole trap. Just to just to get them all. There you go, and the Toad Mothership just swallows the righteous indignation. So yeah, that's bad. And Blink, Bucky wakes up Blinky, wake up Blinky. Captain, we're trapped in a Toad Mothership. Bucky, they've taken my crew for sport. Blinky, Captain, we must save the crew before... Before what? Oh, okay. Right. Cool. 